Transurfers and the Transurfing Curious. I am Renee Garcia. This is Transurfing TV and today, day 29, world, give yourself to me. This is such an amazing lesson tomorrow. Here world, here I am. These two lessons are awesome. This one is incredible because it really gives the vibe that like your world is absolutely there, willing to meet you halfway with the oar of outer intention for your little transurfing boat going towards your goals through your doors, going after what you strive to achieve. But you have to sort of know what your language is to your world, how to speak to your world, and then how to hear your world. Meaning having enough awareness that you can tune in your world and see when in fact it's trying to help you with outer intention and the alternatives flow. Before I get started quickly, please subscribe if you have not done so already and please like this video and comment in the comment section below I love reality transurfing to enter my giveaway to get some of my awesome reprogramming stickers that'll help tune your frequency and align you with the wave of fortune these are awesome and I would be lost without them so please thumbs up and comment below I love reality transurfing and with that I will get started Day 29, world, give yourself to moi. I love this one so much. When you want something from the world, don't pressure the world to give it to you. What else can the mirror reflect? When a capricious child is standing in front of it, jumping up and down, crying, I want, give it to me. Yes, you want it. Yes, you demand it. The mirror reflects fact, nothing more, nothing less. The principle is very, very simple. If you want the reflection in the world mirror to meet you halfway, you will have to take the first step. Let go of the intention to receive and replace it with the intention to give and you will receive the very thing you let go of in the first place. Vadim Zeeland's interpretation. Do you want a certain person to acknowledge and respect you? Don't demand it then. Show this person respect yourself and make them feel that they are important in your eyes. Do you feel in need of compassion and gratitude? Don't search for it. Take genuine care of someone else and actively help them with their problems. Do you want people to like you? A pair of beautiful eyes won't do it. Show warmth towards someone and they will automatically perceive you as being lovable. Do you need someone's help and support? Find someone to help. You will become more important and that person, not wanting to be less important than you, won't want to remain in your debt. Do you want to experience mutual love? Let go of possessiveness and dependent relationships. You will experience mutual love if you are prepared to love without receiving anything in return. This kind of love is extremely rare. No one will be able to resist it. In all these situations, you are certain to experience the very thing you let go of. Okay, so this has a lot to do with outer intention and frailing, which is the person-to-person uh, -person version of outer intention. And I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a breakdown of something that I've really noticed in the last couple of years that has been pretty profound. And that is that I can view people now as falling into one of two categories. And I know this sounds pretty polarizing, but just hear me out. People are either givers or they're takers. The people that I notice in my reality, on social media, in my real life, 
the people that are takers from their world or from other people are always struggling with how much they have themselves because the mirror responds back to your action and your thought quality. And if you are constantly asking for others, from others what it is you want or from your world what it is you want and you're grabbing and you're taking, then your mirror is going to take from you. People will continue to take from you and give you less. And I have noticed this quite dramatically actually. People that are givers, people that understand in order to get, they must give first. These are the people that have abundance in this world. And I have noticed that people typically do one of the two movements, either take or give, right? And again, the people that give always seem to be much better off. They have their world meeting them halfway, right? But they are taking the first step by doing the thing that they want to see be, be done back in their direction. So I know this is a challenging question for a lot and I'll be the first to admit it. I was a taker in my past reality, 100%. All I did was take and now I'm a giver, right? I give and I don't even really think of what it is that I'm looking to receive back from my mirror in return. I just know that if I'm consistently pushing out into my reality, here, take this. Here, here's some love. Here's some, you know, whatever it is that I have available to give at any time, I actively push and give towards my mirror. And in doing so, I have abundance in my reality. My, my world is full. I have all the things that I want. I have all the things that I have intended to have and things continue to look up. But I notice that an imbalance occurs when I stop giving and I start taking, right? So I only take what my world offers to me in my direction via my action of originally giving. So ask yourself, and again, I know this is a challenging question for a lot of people. Ask yourself, are you giving or are you taking? Are you in give mode or are you in take mode? So with that, world give yourself to me. Again, please like this video and comment below. I love reality transferring or ask any questions. I would love to answer them. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Bye.